really good day. It's been a good week. You know, this is kind of the, the week that, you know, we've been talking to our guys every day about, you know, this, this is when the pros show up and the guys that aren't pros get exposed because the first week, I don't want to say easy, but the first week, the newness of, of putting pads on, uh, the newness of, of playing football again, the newness of this new body that we've been working two and a half months on and uh, speed and agility, that's fun. And then the, the last two weeks as you start to prepare for a game, you know, there's a, an anticipation, there's a, you know, you're putting in different looks, different presentations. There's, there's certainly not any boredom. This week right here, it's where the monotony of training camp can set in if, if you don't handle it properly. And again, this is Thursday, and I, I really think our guys have handled it well. Uh, we've got another one tomorrow and then a scrimmage on Saturday. Uh, really excited to see um, our guys in action on Saturday because uh, after Saturday, we, we got to start preparing to win a game. And so I think, you know, without saying it's completely black and dry, most of the, the two deep will be set after Saturday's scrimmage. Uh, and certainly injuries or, you know, performance or something like that can can certainly change that. But I think, uh, you know, this is, we got to start preparing to win a game uh, on Sunday. And we got to know who the guys are that we're going to be able to do that with. So I'm super excited to, to watch them play. Uh, tomorrow on Saturday. Tom, you said it, Big 12 Media Days, you know, like to name a quarterback, maybe the week out, but maybe, you know, it goes right up to the game if, if you know, Rising or Tom Thompson get into it. Are Rising or Thompson in the mix for this job, and how close are you to identifying I, it? They, they are. I, I think they've, they've got an uphill battle uh, just because it, it's, it has nothing to do with talent. Um, you know, their, their talent is, I mean, there, there's a reason we recruit them, both really, really talented kids. Uh, but, you know, I think experience, especially in an opener, uh, is, is pretty monumental um, and paramount. So uh, to say that it's, it's out of the question, I would, that's, that's certainly not the case. But, you know, as long as the two older guys continue to play the way that they're playing, uh, you know, it, it'd be it'd be pretty difficult. Tom, how close are you to establishing a pecking order and running? Uh, very close. I mean, I, I would think after after Saturday that that order will be set. You know, we're it, this is not going to be we don't we don't we don't have a Deontay Foreman just yet. You know, we we're, I mean he rushed for two thousand yards, was it thirty something carries a game, and uh, and won the Dope Walker Award because of it. And a talented, talented guy. Uh, we feel like we do have uh, some developed talent in there. You know, every single guy in that room that returned is better than they were in the spring. And obviously the two newcomers and Trey Watson and, and Keontae Ingram uh, add some juice to that room. So you, you can't play seven of them, you know, but we'll, we'll probably play, you know, at least three guys, you know, throughout the course of a ball game. How has Trey looked without the green jersey? Uh, good, good. Guard against the, the Groundhog Day mentality of the training camp can get. How, how do you guard against, against that? Is that part of the reason why you were in, in the bubble today? Yeah. Uh, you you try to. Well, one, it's a it's a constant reminder. It's a mindset. You know that that we talk all the time about going one and zero, and and you know the the three things in your life that you can compete against. One is a direct opponent which is really easy. You know, you line up in a race or you line up in an inside drill and say, beat that guy. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get motivated for. The other is your own best self, you know, making sure that in every rep you do, uh, that it's better than the last time you did it. But the third one is probably the hardest one. And we call it the little demon. You might call it human nature, uh, the human element I've heard it called that, you know, your body gets sore, tired. It's the same thing over and over and over again. So you try to train your guys how to, how to go one and oh against against that little demon in your head that tells you to, to take it easy and get bored. Uh, but the, the details matter and there's a reason we practice. And I, I think it's a mindset, uh, you know, again, yeah, can you change things up a little bit and, you know, come to the bubble and take the, you know, we didn't, we didn't have pants on today, so it wasn't a, a tackle day. But, you know, at the end of the day, they've got to make a decision that, that they're going to be pros about it. Tell me the update on when you might be getting Devontae back or McCulloch or...
Devontae should be the soonest, I would imagine, next week. Uh, McCulloch hoping for game week. Tom, I know, I know guys hit the wall at different times. And you as coaches, do you embrace that because you know it's going to happen? And how difficult is it to manage it? Because not everybody hits the wall on the same day. So it's yeah, the guys and young guys hit it a lot sooner. <laughs> uh, you know, this is something that these freshmen have never been through. And most of our guys are from Texas, so and that's certainly not a knock on that. I mean, it, it's better than a lot of places that, that I've been. Uh, so the young guys usually hit that wall a little sooner. I think as coaches, knowing and understanding that this is going to happen, you know, and we've been really, really specific in terms of the, in terms of the amount of time we're on the field and the, the amount of contact that we're doing in, in this training camp because, uh, you know, the sports science of it shows you, you got you to gotta peak on Saturday, September 1st, not on August 10th, you know, and so we've got to do a great job of, of managing that from a time perspective and a contact perspective, but we still got to get our reps in. We got to get the practice in. So uh, the wall getting hit, I think, as long as your coaches aren't oblivious to the fact that it is going to happen uh, and that we have open, honest, sometimes hard conversations with our guys and train uh, your mind, you know, we. One of my favorite pictures of all time is, and we showed it in a team meeting uh, earlier this week, and it's uh, during the Vietnam War, the, the picture of the burning monk, right? The guy uh, sets and lights, pours gasoline on himself, lights himself on fire, and the guy that took the picture um, said, and there's a quote that says, uh, he didn't move an inch, didn't utter a sound, in stark contrast to the wailing crowds around him. So, again, I'm not asking our guys to set themselves on fire, don't get me wrong, but if that's not, I mean, the guy let him, lit himself on fire and sat there and didn't move an inch, didn't utter a sound, um, that tells you a lot about the human mind. And if you train it properly, um, there's, there's pretty much not anything you can't do. Did, uh, did your injuries affect you guys as far as depth of offensive line last year? How deep do you feel like you guys can go this year with the healthy bodies? And how does a guy like Cosby kind of play in? Uh, he's in it. You know, I, I think we're probably, you know, nine, you know, nine guys right now that, you know, we probably have six that you would not hold your breath when they're in the game. The other three could get you through a game, but you'd, you'd probably have to protect them a little bit. And then the other, the rest of the crew is probably a developmental at this point, but Sam would be one of those nine, certainly. Tom, how's Josh Moore looking? Where is he in the packing order? And is he mostly at the slot? Yeah, he, he, Joshua Moore's doing great. I called his mom the other night just to, you know, it's funny as the head coach, sometimes you forget, you know, she sees you, the, your contact show up on her phone. She picked up the phone. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? You know, like, no, it's, it's, this is a good call. I'm calling you to tell you that your son's doing an unbelievable job, and you did you did an unbelievable job raising him. And um, so, yeah, he will be in the slot. I think what that gives us is two guys with him and Deshaun Jameson that completely different skill set than LJ Humphrey, right? And LJ is our most versatile player on offense, but those two guys are so dynamic and so quick and fast, uh, and we just got to keep accelerating. You know, the young guy mistakes, they got to, and I, t I told both those guys, we're going to put you in the game in 15 days, and you've got a response, 16 days, whatever it is, and you've got a responsibility to make sure that you don't let the rest of the team down by having a full grasp of, of what you're you're supposed to do exactly and doing it perfectly right. Are they in the mix on punt return? Or? Yes, both of them. What's your concern level on that back now with the injuries? Um, high. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, obviously we lost two in the off season and then to have three basically, or two go down and then the one you move from safety to linebacker to, to make up for it goes down. That, um, and then having one suspended for the first half of the of the Maryland game, so it is a concern. But 
you know, the, the good thing is, is we're, we're pretty well versed in, in our dime package too. So if we, we had to live in that for a week or two, I think we could, yeah. um, but we'll find a way to get through it. Are you moving anybody? To not, not yet, no. Yeah. Was, was, so. was Overshone going to get some playing time? Maryland, not hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He would have been out there. Yes. Okay. Which I've done a sort of Caden Stearns with his shoulder wrapped up after practice. Is that it? Uh, he's got a bruise, a, okay. a contusion. It, yeah, but he finished practice. It, he'll be fine. Are you going to the bubble more? Does the whole Maryland thing affect the way you have to coach in these days? It's um, you know, anytime you you lose a student athlete, it's a it's a tragedy, and you know our hearts and thoughts and prayers are with him and his family and the whole University of Maryland community. Um, but, you know, I, I have a lot of confidence in the way that our training staff, our strength staff, our assistant coaches, that the way they operate is um, you know, as good as it there is in the country. And, um, you know, we take every precaution uh, that there is. Tom, how, close, how close are Sam and Shane in terms of that battle? Is it, it one is. guy's ahead one day, the other guy? I, that's the, probably the best way to put it, which is, um, you know, we need to have one guy be ahead for more than one day. You know, I think, uh, you know, they, they both have, have had their really, really good moments. They both have had some that um, we kind of shake their head at, but your head at. But um, overall, uh, it's a really good thing. I mean, that both of them have, have pushed each other uh, to where they're both playing at a level that I haven't seen either of them play. Uh, now we, we've got a one of those guys has to put a few of those back to back to back to back. Tom, speak, speaking, of, speaking of Maryland, I mean, these guys know the news. Do you tell them anything about don't listen to the Maryland distraction because a team is going to show up at FedEx Field ready to play Texas? Do you warn them about overlooking Maryland in any way, shape? No, no, I don't. Like you said, I mean, you said it perfectly. There, there's going to be a team that shows up ready to play and ready to, to win a game yeah. at basically a home home site for them. And, um, you know, one that they don't think they can beat us. They know they can because they did last year. Yeah. And so they'll, they'll, be, they'll be very confident. I'm, I'm sure they'll be ready to play. Thanks.